I'm so scared right now because it's like 1.20 a.m. <sighs> okay. Get myself together. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Honestly, if you've been subscribed since day one and you're watching this video today, you're an MVP because I know my videos haven't been constantly uploaded. I mean, regardless, I think I upload once a month. <laughs> once every two months. <laughs> but I'll be uploading constantly now, at least once a week. So, to your new viewers, to, to the new viewers out here, my name's Laura, Laura, regardless, same thing to me. Um, welcome to my channel, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Okay guys, so I'll tell you guys now, it's not that scary if you were to like think I got obsessed or something. Bye, cause this is not the video. <laughs> so it all started when we went to vacation. I'm not gonna say people's names, so I'll just use the first letter of their name. It started one day where me and my friends went out. And at the moment we were coming back, I got I received a phone call from Kay. I answered the phone and she asked me where we were and I told her, Oh, we're in um the gate to enter the house. So there's like the gate where you put the passcode in and then it lets you in to go into the small little neighborhood where we were supposed to be staying. I told her we were at the gate and she said, oh, okay, never mind. And I asked her, why is everything okay? Like, what's going on? And she was like, oh, no. She was just going to tell us to bring um, garbage bags for the house. Sorry. And at that moment, she hung up. Or at least she said she hung up. And my phone... It started acting crazy or I should say it was static and I couldn't hear anything she said and I kept saying hello hello but no response I got really creeped out at that moment and I was like I can't be the only one to hear this because if I tell them I heard static and it was like really crazy Nobody was going to believe me and they'll be like, I'm making this up. So, at that moment, I was like, you know what, guys? You guys need to hear this. And I put my phone on speaker. The static was still going and it sounded like heavy breathing. Honestly, I just stood there not knowing what to do. And everybody just was staring at me like, what the hell is going on? I'm like, I don't know. I don't know, but... <laughs> I was scared so I was like you know what that's it I hung up because it's dark outside and this is not happening tonight okay so then we got home and I asked Kay if she hung up or if she heard anything weird on the phone and she said no she said after you told me that you were already home I hung up and I was like okay that's weird because I heard heavy breathing on the phone and static and I kept saying hello and there was no response and she was like well I didn't hear anything weird so I'm like okay <sighs> let me let me let it slide and maybe it was just my phone I don't know maybe it was just a one-time thing next day I think we went to Disneyland that day and when we came back, since we had two separate cars, Kay goes with her family and I come with my friends. Well, sister. That was complicated. Just, let's just say my friends. As we come back, we're the first to get home. Me and my sister stay in the kitchen. A goes to his room and E goes outside to the pool. 
and as he, as he goes outside, he says he sees the light from the room turn on and off. Mind you, he's the only one that saw this. So we're here like, that's weird. Nobody has entered that room. So somehow that room's door was opened and we're all just here like, there's no way, there's no way. Nobody's inside. How is the light supposed to be on and off? Maybe you're bugging. He's like, I know I'm not bugging. Um, the light turned on and off. I'm sure I'm positive of what I saw. So we're just here like, maybe he's messing around with our heads. Especially after the phone call, he's just like trying to mess with me. So later on, like we let it slide again. Like we checked the room, there was no one there. Nothing, nothing, nothing. So we're just here like, He's making it up right so next day i wake up it's like around 10 in the morning i had literally just woke up and somebody told me check your phone so i checked my phone and i had received a message from Kay asking me if i had went outside the house and i told her no i literally just woke up i'm still in bed and she said, my husband and mother-in-law could have sworn they saw you walk outside the house as you were driving away and that you were speed walking towards us. Bro, my heart dropped at that moment. And I was like, there's no way it was me because I literally just woke up. And she said, they said you were wearing a pink shirt with shorts. And I look at my shirt. My shirt was white, if I'm not wrong. I had a white shirt on that day. And I'm like, no, there's no way. And I know there was no way that was me because I have no type of pink shirts. I don't know. At that moment, it was just like, oh, my God, my sister, my sister. So I ran. I got up and I ran to my sister's room. I went in her room. And when I went in her room, I checked outside, nothing unusual, and she seemed okay, so I was like, I don't know, maybe they're bugging. So they come back from Walmart, they're like, oh, come, 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 let me see. And my shirt was white, so they were like, no, it wasn't her. So they start telling me their story. This is how it goes. So apparently... The husband's on the driver's seat. Kay is on the passenger seat. And the mother-in-law is in the back of the passenger seat. Both of them saw me. Only both of them. Not Kay. Kay did not see anything. The husband saw me on the left side of the sidewalk. So it's like the sidewalk, the street, and then the other sidewalk, right? So the husband saw me on this sidewalk and the mother-in-law saw me on this sidewalk. So it was like I was in two different places at the same time. And they were like, they could have sworn it was me because one, she was skinny. Two, she had long hair. Three, um, she had a pink little book bag on which I was carrying around that whole week and then crazy part is they didn't they didn't tell each other they saw me in different sidewalks they just said that they saw me until they got to Walmart and they talked about it they were like wait how did you see her on the passenger side if I saw her on the driver's side what <laughs> So, she says she saw the little girl speed walking or at least moving fast because she said she, she only saw from head to like the waist, they said, she said. because it's like one in the morning and I'm recording and talking about this so it's like 
I forgot what the hell I left off. She's in the casino type of life or feet. Compared to the driver side, you saw the whole body. Just that her hair was like in her face. And she was speed walking. And I was like, oh my god. Lord. My dog's not even staring at the door. He's staring like in the middle of my room. And he's really creeping me out right now. So it turns out, the nights before, the mother-in-law was hearing the door, like, how do you say it? Like, rock. Like, you know the rocking noise that the chair does? Like, I guess like that. I don't know how to explain it, to be honest. But basically, the door was, like, rocking back and forth. Creaking, whatever it's called. I think, right? Something like that. So point is, we could hear the door going back and forth. So in the morning when she woke up, she tried to check the door to see like if it would make the same noise, but it didn't. Um, apparently, you had to be holding the door down and rocking it at the same time in order for it to like make any noise, and that was really creepy because it was like. Who the hell is going to be waking up so freaking early just to make the noise, you know? It's like... So it was really creepy. And then... Apparently the little girl... There was a little girl, like a little... Like an actual little girl, like, you know, not the little girl, the ghost little girl. Okay. <laughs> apparently the little girl has been having, like, day one she couldn't take it she was so scared she got out of her bed and she went to her parents bed and she stood there tonight day two she stood in her bed but she started kicking everybody next to her next to her and putting her hurting me Ugh. can you not speak <laughs> she started pulling her like the mother-in-law's hair because she slept with her started pulling her hair kicking everybody next to her it was like she was having the worst nightmare of her life the last day literally like a day before we left florida it was like she didn't have any nightmares at all she was able to sleep the whole night there's another part where apparently the grandma heard a little girl's voice on her left ear mind you she was the last person on the bed like all the way to the left so nobody was on her left just on her right so turns out at the moment she heard a little girl say something but she didn't understand anything so she was just like basically saying like fuck off so there was a second phone call where everybody was in the house. My sister was in her room. I was in my room. And she called me because she wanted a popsicle. And literally at the moment I said, oh, she said, oh, are you going to bring it to me? I said, okay, sure. She hung up. And again, the static, heavy breathing. And I was like, Oh my god again um at that moment i was like wait a is here let me put this on speaker so i put it on speaker and i'm like look hear it like it started again and i was like oh my god <sighs> why me why me and mind you it was only my phone I ran to my sister's room at that moment and I asked if she heard the static and the heavy breathing and she said no. She said I hung up right after you said okay you were going to bring it to me. So I'm here like what? So it's just my phone like nobody else experienced the static except me. It was like okay um this is weird. So we tried to like record it like get it on video but it was a fail 
like I try calling someone and like nothing it will hang up like right away it was like my phone knew I was recording so it didn't want to go into that static so then it was like okay never mind we never really well at least I didn't encounter anything with like really seeing the little girl or hearing her voice or anything if it was real who knows and if it was just our heads messing with us or like the connection was bad that I was the only one hearing it I don't know to be honest and I will never know like I try to research it but there was nothing coming up in like regarding that house so who's to say if it's real or not I like the um adrenaline that I get over like scary stuff which is why as you see I want to climb road um I actually want to do more videos like that it's just I was scared I wouldn't risk my life like that to be playing like the Ouija board or anything. Do not comment and say you want me to do that because I will not automatically no, I will not play the Ouija board. It was a scary experience in the moment when they literally had me in the middle just telling me everything. And everybody looked at me and they were like, you're the one carrying the spirit and I'm just here like, there's no way, like, because literally right now, I'm living on my own, like, with my little doggy. but for anything scary to happen like that, it's like, I, I will really shit myself, because I'm so paranoid. Like, I love hearing scary stories, honestly, I'm not gonna lie, but for it to actually happen to me, it's like, shit. Well, I think that's all, honestly. It was just, like I said, the door, the little girl, them seeing me on two different sides of the sidewalk, me and my phone with the static and the heavy breathing, and my friend with the light flickering. I mean, overall, we did have fun on vacation. It didn't really affect us. So, our, like, our conclusion was basically just, it's a little girl trying to have fun. Like, a little girl spirit having trying to have fun, like, mess around with us. But nothing really, really bad happened. Thank God it did not go, like, downhill. Because I think we would have, like, dipped. <laughs> I would have dipped. I would have said, I'm sorry, I'm going to a hotel because this is not happening <laughs> so thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed it not as much as me being scared but if you guys want to hear more scary stories that happen to me or if you guys want to vlog of florida <laughs> like this video comment down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, guys. And I'll see you guys next week. Promise. <laughs> Bye, guys.